What's up guys, Hey King here, bringing you a live reaction to One Piece. Yeah, One Piece. I haven't done a One Piece review or a reaction in years, I think. I, I forget where I, where, where I ended off. I think it was like, it was like the end or middle of Zao, maybe even the beginning parts of uh, Layer Cake Island. Uh, and I just sort of stopped doing it. Uh, but the reason I'm doing it now is because it's a special day. It's Boxing Day, and, by the way, Merry Christmas everyone, I hope you all had a good Christmas, and depending on when this video gets uploaded, maybe a Happy New Year or not, um, I also rearranged and moved everything on my room yesterday, so I spent like the entire evening, four hours straight, just rearranging everything, taking things out, cleaning, and putting things in new places, etc, etc, so, yeah, all my mongers now moved over there, technically in the back and all my DVDs and games and Blu-rays and collections are on this side now so yeah that's uh that's tiring what's up buddy my cat wants to go out <laughs> he comes in then he wants to go out Christ what's up you want to go out go 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 on and feel me all right where were we so yes, I said it was a special day, because not just, not just because it's Boxing Day, but because we're on chapter 1000 of One Piece. Chapter 1000. Holy crap. I remember when I, was, when I started reading this, and I, I, what was it, what was it, it was like chapter 600 something when I got to, when I got to it, and now, and now what, like, Jesus, I think I've been reading this since 2013 or 14, so we're like six years later, and we're on chapter 1000 now, like, I can't imagine, I can't imagine what it feels like for fans who have been reading this since the beginning, and, you know, um, for the fans who aren't here anymore with us, uh, either because of certain situations before that or because of COVID, so rest in peace. But wow, that just that got depressing real fast. Wow, because uh, it just makes you think, man. It's just really sad. It's really um, it's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking. Like you hear about these stories, and it just it breaks your heart when certain franchises are like they're still going. People just want to know how it ends, and they don't. They don't find out. Like they, they don't. It's depressing. But uh, chapter one thousand, Straw Hat Luffy. That's what the chapter is called. <laughs> Straw Hat Luffy, straight up like that. Um, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect uh, from this. Uh, th there have been spoilers, I think. But uh, personally, I'm just hoping. I don't know. I'm hoping this will be the end of Act Three. I'm hoping something happens and just maybe Luffy just gets. I think last chapter, Z uh, Mar Marco got Zoro and was was taking him up to the roof. So and and uh, Kaido and uh, Big Mom teamed up, and it was revealed uh, that uh, Big Mom gave Kaido the uh, fruit. Which is revealed to be a fish fruit of sorts. Uh, so, so technically speaking, Kaido is not a dragon. Somehow he became a dragon. I guess if you read about the uh, Japanese myth or is it a Chinese legend about the fish that goes up the stream and uh, like a long waterfall, and when it gets to the top, it turns to a dragon. Maybe something like that happened. I don't know, but like uh, crazy. That's crazy. Like, and it makes sense because when we first when we first saw Kaido, he had the uh, he had that fish skull tattoo whatever on him, and I remember noticing and thinking. Why does he have like a like a like a carp tattoo? Whatever. It's it's like it's like um is it is it like a magic carp from Pokemon turning to Gyarados? Like that's what it is, isn't it? Like it's great. It's crazy. Uh, but uh, you know the uh, the foreshadowing, the hints were there. But yeah, here we go, man. I'm just gonna start reading. So fifth floor, and we got Luffy. They're going oh, and obviously chapter one thousand. Destroy right, Luffy. We get in. We're getting to a staircase. So they they reach the staircase, and there's Luffy with the Mink Tribe. Uh, you know, you know, you know, Roshi, Free Musketeers. So yeah, the Ming tribes. Like, is that? I don't know if that's corpses or people they fought. I think they seem fine. I think, I think all the battles still going. I don't know. This is all we could do. Go ahead. These stairs lead to the roof. So yeah, yeah, the Musketeers are fine. Maybe a bit tired. Uh, I don't see any big injuries on them. A bit of blood stains here and there, but I think they're fine. Thank you, uh, Shishima Mushi. It's Shishilia. Shishilia. Yeah, Luffy. <laughs> Guys, correcting him, uh, you know I still haven't forgotten that time. What time? When you protected Rizal with your lives. Oh, okay, Luffy's saying this as he's running up the stairs. Yeah. Well then, here I go. And Ah, oh, man, uh, the, the musketeer dude, he's crying. Like He's like, I still haven't forgotten. 
And then as Luffy's running off, he's like, I haven't forgotten that you, and he's crying, like he's putting his hands and crying. That's sad, man, like, oh. Oh, and then we're cutting to the next smaller panel. Um, is this Queen? Because Queen turned into a, I have to remember, Queen's a dude, by the way, not a, not a chick. Or is it a chick? I don't know. Uh, Queen turned into the Brachiosaurus, didn't he? Yeah, and, he's, and his neck is his neck is stretched out like. Does he have gadgets inside his body? I find I find out so weird. And he's fighting Marco, right? He set Zoro up, right? In the fight, he Marco's fighting uh, Queen and King. So Queen's just like attacking. Like, is that is he shooting flamethrowers out of his mouth, or is that a giant shotgun, double barrel gun? Like, what the hell? Damn it! What kind of power is this? Is he invincible or what? And there's Marco just flying in. And there's King come from the other side in his pterodactyl form. And oh, oh, Marco's like he's he, he's shooting his wings off. Like like imagine if they're hands. Obviously, his wings are hands, and he's grabbing them with the wings basically, like 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 twirling flames. He's grabbing them by their necks or their bodies, and he's just burning through them. So yeah, he's like catching them. Joy Boy is that what is that, is that the name? No, that's not a move. Uh, I find it so funny that Queen in his Brachiosaurus form still has like a big long moustache like coming out, it's hilarious. So come on, let him go through. Oh, Zoro is still there, he's still got Zoro in his, in, his, in his feet, so he's throwing him now. Whoa, you could have warned me at least, he's throwing Zoro up past, past Queen and King. And what is that? Is Zoro hitting like uh, at the roof? Oh, because I think the roof, there's a hole in the roof, isn't it? So he's throwing him through there, I think. And now we're cutting to we're cutting back to Momonosuke and Yamato. Seriously, Yamato better join the someone needs to join the crew. Like I'm voting for Carrot. I'm voting for Carrot and Yamato to join the crew because we seriously need more chicks on the team, man. Like it's a real sausage fest with the exception of Nami and Robin, man. We need we need some chicks, okay? And I'm not just saying that because I like chicks. I'm saying that because really we need we need we need a, we need a balanced team, man. Uh, so yeah, Momonosuke D. That's Father's Logbook. What? He said D, that's Father's logbook, and Yamato's smiling, man, like... What does that mean? What's going on? And, uh, obviously she was telling that flashback. They're still in that area of the giant dragon statue. Momonosuke, I never would have, though, that... I never would have, though, that I would have the opportunity to, opportunity to meet you someday. I will be giving it back to you. I had found it near the river of Odin Castle on that day. Right, so what? Uh, Oda named his logbook D? What? Okay, so somebody within the burning castle had protected this journal, and there's a. Uh, I forgot what the uh, ninja chick is, Shinobu, I think, uh, the Lord Oda's. Everything regarding his wondrous life and the emotions he experienced when traveling across the world are recorded. The moment. Oh, he's got. Oh, he's got the book. She's giving him the book, and he's crying. He's crying like when he's got. He's got the book in his hands, and now we're cutting to Law and Kid. So there. Well, I think there's Law for one side going. You were born on Whitebeard's ship, right? And then moved to Roger's ship. Oh, oh, okay. So we're seeing all of this happening in the background while we're while Yamato, I think, is still talking. You were born on Whitebeard's ship, right? And then moved to Roger's ship. And this is this is when it's focused on law. And I think he's using some sort. He's using his ability. Then, then on the other side of the panel is Kid. It is said that after 20 years have passed within the new world, a group of young and powerful pirates will, arri will arrive. So this was destined. So it's not just like the nine scarabs, like it's 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 saying that the young these younger the supernova in this case would appear. That time has come. So coming back from Momonosuke, it's like I was thinking that Ace would be one of them, but I remembered when I first learned of his death. Oh, so we're cutting to a flashback when she when when she learns. Is that Ace? No, we're coming back to Ace. I think this is Ace. Yeah, that is Ace, isn't it? Oh, I said too much. I just said it without thinking. Forget what I said, and more importantly, don't make fun of it. Sobo and I will never forgive you. That is little brother's, and, and Yamato's like, that is, oh, that is little brother's dream? What? I'm so cool. Oh, did Ace, did Ace tell her what Luffy's dream is, wanting to become the king of the pirates? The first time he said that, we had a good laugh, but, okay, he's drinking, he's chilling with Yamato. I won't allow the others to do so. We believe in him. So Ace wanted to support his brother. He truly believes that he can achieve it. So... Ace, huh? Someone's calling, calling for him, I think. What? What's going into Yamato? Oh no, Yamato was screaming. What's going into Yamato? She's crying. Never. I would never make fun of him. The King of the Pirates also said the same thing. King of the Pirates also said what? So much is happening. I don't get what's going on. So I think it's still flashback. Yeah, on top of the fingers, the statues. Those words had amazed Oda. In Kozuki, Oda's journal, there is a certain big figure that also said the same thing. 
there's a certain big figure that also said the same thing, who said that. So obviously, I am not going to make fun of your little brother. Uh, fun of it. Your little brother is amazing. I see. A big figure, huh? Not bad at all. I'd love to have a drink with him and Luffy. Who's him? Does does she does does she mean Oda? They they would have gotten along just fine, huh? If he wasn't already dead. What? Dead? Finally, here it is. Your vivid card. What is that? A piece of paper? So Yamato gave her vivid card to Ace. This piece of paper will allow us to meet another time. Think of giving parts of it to the people you would like to see again. Got it. We'll meet again, right, Ace? Of course, and this is him leaving. Ace's vivid card. It faded away now, two years ago. I learned of what happened by reading the journals. I'm so confused. So much is going on. Like it's, it's just like, eh, like mind overload, mind overload. Uh, pause here for a second. So we just learned that Yamato gave Ace her vivid card, and for him to like carve pieces to people he trusts, whatever. So Ace is dead. Well, obviously, that's an important. Blackbeard's got the vivid card. I think. I think. I think that's pretty much obvious, isn't it? At this point, like. Or um, Blackbeard or the world government has possession of the vivid card. So at any point now, like uh, someone's gonna come to Wano. Okay, like this is a big mess of a shadow again. Oda himself also said that we would be seeing Shanks, I believe, this year, ne next year technically. So 2021, uh, we're gonna see Shanks, like, and yeah, you know, and, and if. Since they're bringing up uh, Ace's vivid card, or in this case Yamato's vivid card that she gave to Ace, when he got cat, when he got defeated by Blackbeard, he either Blackbeard took it or the world government did. But uh, I think it makes more sense that Blackbeard took it, and I think it makes more sense that yeah, he's going to be the one coming to Wano. And I am predict, I am predicting because last chapter did actually end with Big Mom telling Kaido that she wants uh, Nico Robin alive. I'm thinking what's going to happen is 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 pretty obvious. Like, well, at least it's obvious for me. Blackbeard is going to show up in Wano. Bigger fight with the Emperor, Shang's gonna show up and he's gonna be helping Luffy take on Blackbeard or maybe he's gonna show up first to help with, with Kaido and Big Mom maybe and then Blackbeard shows up and all a bunch of craziness happens and at some point Blackbeard is gonna kidnap Nico Robin. Like that, 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 that's just the only way it's gonna end for me. Like it's not gonna be Kaido or Big Mom that are gonna go. It's gonna be Kaido, Kaido like it's gonna be Blackbeard. He's gonna show up and, 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 and take and kidnap Robin. Um, so yeah, let's let's continue on. Uh, the fact that Ace was Roger's son and that little and that little brother was making a name for himself as a pirate, the same pirate that you have brought here, Luffy. Older describes the future like so. So we're saying Luffy got up the stairs. He hits uh, someone hits someone comes through a door and he's like, he looks confused, looking at it, wondering who's just come through. Okay, so we're getting this big. Oh man, we're getting this big spread now. Holy shit! So Luffy's there. I think he's, yeah, he's made it to the roof, he's there, there's Big Mom, there's Kaido silhouettes, and there's other people that are already, there's, there's, there's Law stat sitting down, there's uh, Zoro on the ground waiting, uh, and, and between, and that's basically Law here, Zoro here, and Luffy in the middle, and then next to Luffy here is, I think that's Kid, no, that's Killer, and then the next to Killer is Kid, obviously, so yeah. Um, yeah, uh, everyone's there, and the kid's like, you guys, once again, you came to watch me fight, huh? And, and straw Hat, and that's Kaido Straw Hat, and Big Mom, all I, all I want is his head. Oh man, we're getting this big massive page for everyone, there's, oh, that's such a cool freaking battle, like, l like, l l Law, Zoro, Luffy, like, l Luffy here, like, and uh, next to Luffy, it's Killer and, and, and Kid, like, and then on that side, you're Kaido and <laughs> Big Mom facing them. In about 20 years, it is the next generation of powerful pirates that will lead the new era. They will arrive to the new world, and if I were to die, they will be the ones capable of taking down Kaido. So Luffy's like, oh, well, this chapter's still going, damn. He's like, oh, and uh, Big Mom's like, hmm, and she's, she's on a, what's the cloud called again? Prometheus, right? No. Zeus, Zeus, because Zeus is fonder, Prometheus is fire, so yeah, she's she's standing on uh, Zeus, and there's Kaido next to her, he's clubbing his hat, and, and Kaido's like, Lily, guess what this kid said to my face, big mom, he's just a runt, he had the same haunty attitude, or naughty, is it naughty, uh, there's a H next to what would have been, if you put an N there, it's naughty, but it, it's H, haughty. Haughty attitude when he faced me as well, he destroyed my castle, you owe me an apology, straw hat. 
step is that step so yeah just a big uh, like an upper shot of a uh, big mama uh, big mama kaido it's, hmm movie's just like nope he's just remaining quiet as Zoro reading hey kid I dare you say it one more time what you want to become and on the floor oh right on the floor the red scarabs man they've been beaten to a pole there's there's Kinemon and he's just he's just knocked down Luffy's crotches next to him you hanging in there Kinemon sorry for the delay Kafa is covering up blood Luffy's look he's looking and he's seen all the other he's seen all the other red scarabs beaten man uh, like there's uh there's Rizo there's uh I, I, I don't know, the trans samurai chick? I don't know their names, man. Uh, the other dude, the long hair, uh, Inoroshi, uh, Kawakawi, I think, uh, the the fishman, and then you've got, uh, man, I forgot these characters' names, uh, Niko, Niko Mamushi, and then Izaya, I think, the sister of the, of, the, of the one ninja chick who got, I think she's the one who got arm cut off? No, it was the other one. We, we regret... In the afterlife, what is Lord Oda? We wouldn't dare show our faces to him off this. Oh man, Kinemon's crying. He's grabbing Luffy. I beg of you, please save Wano. Of course I will. It's my friend's country. Oh man, Kinemon's crying. Oi, oh, Kaido's just appeared about Luffy, about to hit him with the club. Oi, kid. Luffy, Dono. Toro, 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 oh, move them down. <laughs> he's turning to Law and he's like, move them down. And Law's doing his thing. Oh, he's moved up. Okay, so he's used his abilities to transport the uh, Red Scarabs from the battlefield. So they're gone. What's going on here? I think so hard to see what's going on here. So Kaido's just hit down at where Luffy and Kinemon were. And, and obviously uh, Kinemon and the others just disappeared. And Luffy just jumps up in the air. He's in the air. Whoa, what's going on here? Kid, killer. Who are these characters? Oh, no, no. These are different characters. These are the... Oh, it's the rooftop, obviously. Kaido just hit the rooftop, obviously, and there's debris falling down onto the other people downstairs, and they're like, whoa, there's Luffy going into gear third. Come, come on, come on, no. What's this? He's going angry, and he's flashing back to uh, Zao. Raizo is alive, so that's... I think he's getting memories, and the Nikogamushi and Sil, we are your allies, and there's uh, Momonosuke. I want to defeat Kaido. Kidamon, 20 years ago in Wano, we were able to travel forward in time. Uh, there's the uh, the death of that one character, like the, the character that was smiling, who's got a daughter, I think uh, Toka is his daughter, Ibasu's jester is gone to the afterlife, uh, cut into that one, uh, that, uh, that Yakuza dude, the old Yakuza dude that held Luffy in prison, they were alive all this time, the sparks of a rebellion are still, and now we're cutting to, I think that meeting that Kinemon was having with everyone, our beloved Lord Oda was brought to the flower capital and executed as criminal. And now we're cutting to Kaido, he's looking up in the air and there's Luffy coming down, flames and shit, and he's got the Kong Kong no Nomi and he's hitting it in Kaido's face. Red Rot. Is that a new move? What is that? It's burning for like, his fist is like lit up with fire and he smashes Kaido down into the roof. Big Mom is shook like, Kaido, what are you playing at? You let him drop you to the ground just like that? I am Monkey D. Luffy. I will surpass you. And he's just, he's on the ground and he's put his hat on. And I will become the king of the pirates. <laughs> oh. Oh, and is that it? That's it. That's the end of the chapter. So that's, that's all it was. Oh, man. Oh, I expected more, man. Like, uh, but no, I think, I think a lot of us predicted that, that it, it was, e it was either going to be like a big revelation or it was going to be like, uh, him just getting to the roof. And at, yeah, he's got into the roof. He's attacked, you know, Kaido attacked first and Luffy just smacked him down. The Red Scarabs got defeated and they're gone down, okay? Their Lord just transported them. Where? I do not know. And we have Luffy, Law, Kid, Zoro, and Killer. Them five up there versus Kaido and Big Mom. What, what, what happened to all the people that were screaming like, yeah, Zoro's not gonna fight Kaido, uh, like, I'm a Zoro fan, okay? And don't get me wrong, I like Sanji too, but I'm a Zoro fan, and it's mostly because of the fact that I'm, you know, I like swords, okay? So I'm gonna go with the sword man, okay, with this, plus I like green too, so yeah, everything. Zoro's just like my favourite character in this, obviously. But, yeah, him, him getting getting up there, being up there side by side with, 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 with the three captains and, um, Luffy, like, Luffy especially, Kid and Law, and taking on Kaido, like, come on. Yeah, it, it was gonna happen, okay? It was destined to happen, and it just makes sense, like. So, that that's cool. That's cool. I can't wait to see that. Um, I'm happy to see that. 
but I hope Sanji does get to kick ass. I'm hoping he teams up with Marco and they take on Queen and King at the same time. And it's not just like a, you know, it's Sanji just gonna. Like everyone's saying that they want Sanji to fight either Queen or King, but like I, I would prefer if the two of them team up and they both take on both opponents at the same time. And like either one of them just gets the gets the winning shot in for what, what either character do you mean like it's not just like a one side both of them teaming up that's what I want to see that's what I want to see from the world from from, from pretty much the, uh, the the new world as uh, uh, in a way since we've gone to the new world basically it's it's very different from the previous arcs uh, post uh, pre you know post time skip like post pre time skip where it was Luffy pretty much always winning against the leader here since the new world it's become a team effect okay like Luffy needs to fight these guys with help okay like give him the finishing hit and the blow sure but he he needs to fight in a team essentially and it just it just makes sense for everyone else to sort of team up and fight the various uh, henchmen or villains together like so that's what I want to see more of I want to see that and I hope it's gonna be cool um, yeah man I can't I can't wait to see what happens um, predictions predictions for where the stories but like I said I think Blackbeard and, and, and Shanks are gonna show up and Robin is gonna get kick, 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 kidnapped and I think the next arc after Wano is going to be Elbaf. We're going to go Elbaf. We're going to get some sort of David. I think I think you guys have seen some of the uh, theories from other posters. I do think we're going to get like a David back fight or something with Luffy versus Shanks and uh, Usopp. It's going to be Usopp's main arc essentially with him confronting his dad and meeting the giants, etc., etc. And I think I think Kaido will lose or die. In Wano, but Big Mom will survive, and her character will get her resolution in Elbaf with the giant. So something's gonna happen there, and uh, they're gonna they're gonna find out that the final road panagraph, whatever, is probably gonna be on the moon or something. So they're gonna they're gonna have to figure out a way to get there because you know Enel needs to make a comeback for Christ's sake. I know what you're thinking. This is crazy. I'm just on a reaction to Chapter 1000. I know I'm throwing out fairy videos, but I think it's important to discuss this. Like, and I just want to see if I'm gonna end up being right if this happens. Give me a second. So yeah, I think I think like I said, I think Elbaf will be next after one. Now, God knows how much longer, like, because we'll, we're still on Act Three. Like that act hasn't ended, and Act Four is supposed to be as long as Act Three as well. So that, you you know that's going to be like a 40, 50 chapters. So that's that's going to take a year or two to, to finish, and then and then Act Five is like this short epilogue essentially that wraps everything up, you know, in a happy note. But uh, after that, I'm I'm pretty sure it's Elbaf. And then, wait, and then, obviously, like I've already suggested, they're gonna find out that the final road Ponder is on the moon. Somehow, some reason, it's it's on the moon. They're gonna go to em Emerald City, where an Emerald City is gonna be basically it's gonna be One Piece's version of the Wizard of Oz. They're gonna go there. They're gonna meet the Wizard of Oz, or in this case, the Wizard of One Piece, or the Wizard of Emerald City, who's gonna be revealed to be obviously it's Baker Punk. You know, he's gonna be the wizard, except he's not gonna be a fake. He's gonna be this very smart dude. And something's gonna happen, and then he's gonna help the Straw Hats, maybe fix up the, uh, the Sunny into like a, a spaceship or something. And they're gonna go into the woods to the moon. They're gonna meet uh, and uh, reunite with Enel. You know, he's gonna be the big villain of that arc. Space pirates, etc., etc. Big revelations. Finding out that the Celestial Dragons are properly from the moon and that they attacked the the Earth or whatever and conquered it. And they're gonna find the rope on a griff. They're gonna find out where the One Piece finally is, and they're gonna go back down after defeating him, etc., etc. We're gonna go to Raftal, big massive confrontation with uh, with Blackbeard and and Shanks, and more revelations. And then obviously we're gonna find out what the One Piece is. We're gonna rescue Robin, and then it's gonna lead into the final war. And then obviously that's probably gonna be like the Holy Land and Marine Ford 2.0 and. Fighting the Goros, uh, you know the Gorosei and Im, etc., etc. And I think that's how the story is going to go. Essentially, that's my belief. Like I'm hoping, um, um, it's not a case of hope. It's more me thinking logically about what what there is left to say and what they're to tell. And Oda himself said pretty much. I think a lot of people misunderstood, but technically speaking, he said, or at least what he tried to mean is that uh, the story is not going to end in five years. It's more that the One Piece will be found in five years, and it's already been a year, I think. So we've got four years left. So I, I'm assuming that yeah, in, in four years' time we're gonna we're gonna find we're gonna get to the One Piece, and then after that we're gonna go into like the final war or whatever, or the final war summit again, like if you will. But yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just curious how this fight fight is gonna go. I'm hoping it's gonna be epic, like like holy crap, it's gonna be insane. Like I can't wait, I just can't wait. Like oh oh, ne ne next year's off to a good start essentially. 
I'm, I'm trying to remember what what how did One Piece start in 2020? What was it? Was it was it the fight with uh or was it the flashbacks first and then we got like uh the whole because of Corona hit and, and I think there was like a a delay in it with chapters so I don't even remember man like so much has happened like and 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 so much hasn't happened either it's crazy but yeah man One Piece chapter 1000 who would have thought we finally got to it unprecedented like holy crap what a chapter and yeah it was fun um, plus I actually bought uh, uh, you know the uh, collect the anime collections from 1 to 21 so I got the first half of the series there which I've seen I've seen a few of the episodes of the anime, but I've never I've never sat down and actually watched it from beginning to end. So I'm I'm, I'm sort of gonna try and do that. When I don't know, like uh, I'm rewatching some old stuff and I still got other stuff to watch, but I I'm planning to do that. But yeah, can't wait. I hope you guys like the reaction. As always, like and subscribe wherever. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care. Bye.